If you're watching this video, it probably means that you just made one of the most exciting decisions of your life to get a MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer. In this video, I'll take you through the unboxing of your new Magic Maker. We've made the MakerBot Replicator 2 even easier to set up than the original MakerBot Replicator so that you'll be making things in no time at all. As you unpack your MakerBot Replicator 2, be sure that you do so with care and attention and that you don't force anything out of place. Once you've opened your box, the first thing you'll need to do is remove this cardboard sleeve on top. Don't discard it, it has some important accessories in it. Now you'll see two black handles. Grab onto those and pull up gently. You'll notice you've pulled out a reusable MakerBot bag. Place the bag on the ground next to your box and remove the cardboard inserts. It's a good idea to hang on to all this packaging material in case you need to transport your MakerBot Replicator 2 at any point in the future. Now grab onto the frame of your MakerBot Replicator 2 like this. Lift it out of the bag and place it on a work surface. In the bottom of the bag, you should see a second cardboard sleeve with more accessories in it. Go ahead and take that out too. Next, we'll need to insert the build plate, which is located in the cardboard sleeve that was underneath your MakerBot Replicator 2. There's a couple of things about this build plate that make it way cooler and easier to use than any other build plate we've made before. Number one, it's easily removable. This means that you can pull it out whenever you need to remove an object from the build surface. Just push back on it gently and pull it out like this. To insert the plate, just line it up at the back and give it a light push at the front to let it fall into place. The other nice thing about this build plate is that it doesn't require any surface tape. The PLA objects that you're making will stick directly to the plate itself. And check this out. If you make objects with the M's facing up on your build platform, your objects will all be signed with MakerBot's trademark M. And if you want to protect the surface of your build plate, you can always cover it in blue painter's tape. Once you've got your build plate in place, the next step in setting up is to detach the extruder from the side of your machine so that it can move around freely. Carefully cut and remove these three yellow ties. Next, you'll need to find your filament guide tube, which is located in one of the cardboard sleeves. Push one end of the guide tube into the hole at the top of your extruder and push the other end into the left guide tube holder at the back of your MakerBot Replicator 2. Now locate the spool holder. Tilt it to fit it through the rectangular opening at the back of the machine and slide it down into place. Make sure it's installed on the left-hand side when you're viewing your Replicator 2 from the back. Your spool of MakerBot PLA filament is located in a black box that's fitted into one of the cardboard accessory sleeves. Take the spool out of its box and bag and push it onto the spool holder. You might need to squeeze the spool holder to get the spool all the way on, but when you do, it should lock into place. Make sure that you mount the spool so that the filament feeds up from the center like this. Now grab the power supply and cable from the white box located in your cardboard accessory sleeve. Before connecting anything, make sure that the power switch is set to off. Plug the cable into the power supply and the power supply into the input port at the back of your machine. And then let the magic begin. Once you've successfully set up your MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer, you can move ahead to the startup process video where I'll show you how to level your build platform and load your MakerBot PLA filament so that your MakerBot Replicator 2 can make its very first thing.